Okay, so to the new PGs, this video is for you, particularly the general medicine residents. There will be a lot of information for you guys and few valuable points for other departments as well. New PGs, new responsibilities and new life. And there are a lot of confusions on how to learn, from where to learn and how to balance this work and personal life. Don't worry, every question of you will be answered in this video. So do watch it till the end. But before we get into the main stuff, Please do subscribe to Dr. JTM's channel, click on that subscribe button and with no delay, let's get it started. Hey guys, if you're new here, this is Dr. JTM, the general medicine and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel, Dr. JTM. So when I joined my first year residency, I am just exactly like you with full of confusions on not knowing how I can learn and be a good physician. But my super seniors have helped me a lot. They guided me in very good manner. And I have also learned a lot of things uh, as the time passed. So with all those experiences, I will be telling you what will be the key to the first year residency life. So first thing, the general medicine residents and also uh, the surgery residents, if you guys are thinking to start your neat SS preparation in the first year itself, then definitely stop that thought right there because if you start need as a preparation in first year you are digging your own grave first year is always about observation skills the more you observe what's happening in the OPs, in the wards, in the ICUs and in the casualties the more you will absorb and learn you have to follow your chief rounds and also associate rounds very strictly. You have to uh, learn from them how they are looking at a case sheet, their case history and also investigations and how they are thinking on what tests or investigations to order or how they are following the treatment protocols. Because those are the ones, those doctors are the ones who are having 20 to 30 years of experience and whatever comes from their mouth, you have to catch them like that. Second thing, history taking skills. Yes, to the departments like general medicine, pediatrics and psychiatry, history taking is very very essential. Nowadays we are getting dependent on uh, you know investigations a lot, but the key or the art of becoming a good physician will always lie in taking proper history. Taking proper history itself will give you a lot of clues about the diagnosis, about a case or a patient. And while taking history, you guys will develop communication skills, which is the next golden key for you to excel when you come out of this PC residency. These days, lack of communication skills is also one of the reasons why there is a lot of abuse on doctors. First thing is that when you are doing some examination or you are doing some test like uh, taking blood samples or you are going to give some treatment, talk to the patient, tell them what you are going to do. This will actually create some trust and belief among the patients on us and this will actually create a lot of positivity in the patient and that patient will remember you for all the talk, that good talk that you have done with him. Third thing. On the basis, don't be over enthusiastic and start studying your big, big standard books like Harrison, Bailey and Law, Sebastian or Williams right from first day of your first year residency. Because to all the medicine and surgery pages particularly, you guys have to learn how you can approach the emergency cases in the casualty. So firstly, I suggest to all new PGs is that take up those emergency clinical manuals like Washington Manual for General Medicine PGs. Because you have to learn how you have to approach the emergency case, how you can treat those cases and how fast you can react to emergency cases. Few might teach you but few don't teach you. It doesn't mean you need to get disheartened about they are not helping you or something like that. Just remember you can always learn on your own from the experiences as the time passes even when there is no help from seniors. Fourth and most important thing is that always maintain a rapport with your co pages your seniors and your professors and also your dear chief. Because always try to be humble and not be arrogant. It doesn't mean you need to be a servant to your superiors. If they are treating you bad and in toxic manner, always stand for yourself. Your self-respect do matters. Particularly, you know, female PGs face a lot in the department and outside as well. If something you feel not right is happening in the department. Yes, there are there will be people who will be threatening you that they will fail you or they will be targeting you in some kind. If you give them that chance, definitely you will be left alone and you will feel lonely. So your self-respect do matters and do not take any humiliation or toxic behavior from any staff members. And fifth important thing is that work-life balance. We need to balance our work 
uh, time during first year as well as our personal life. Because in the first three months, there is uh, there will be a lot of hectic work. But how much hectic work you have, you have to eat properly, you have to stay hydrated. I don't want to comment on the sleep because uh, it will not be under our control. But after three to four months, when you get habituated to the work and you understand everything, you need to understand yourself that you need to take regular breaks from work and also at least take leaves at, uh, once in a month. So these all things will happen only when you have proper synchronization with your fellow PGs. So all the PGs just stay united because you need to work for three years together and don't let any egos come in between you. And always remember to take care of your mental health well because stress will be all over you during this residency phase. But always find the joy and fun side of you. Watch movies, hang out with friends, go out for dinners and dates and stay refreshed. And that's it for this video. I think all the new PEZs who are so much stressed and confused out there, you got some clarity about this first year residency. If you still have any doubts or questions, please do put that in the comments down or you can pin me on my Instagram. The links are given below in the description. And if you wanted more videos, videos on residency or for any tips for study tips for general medicine pages please do let me know and don't forget to like share and subscribe to dr jkm and i will be back with one more great video until then bye take care